Why is crypto crashing? Today, we're going to cover how to make money in the boom cycles, but also in the bust cycles. And we're going to go into a bit of detail, but we're going to simplify it so you can see what's really happening as opposed to what you think is happening. So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let's dive straight into why is crypto crashing, the boom and bust cycles. So what we're looking at here is actually the crypto market cap. And I've just simplified it. Green is boom and red is bust. And what typically occurs from buying and selling behavior is a boom followed by a bust, a boom followed by a bust, a boom followed by a big bust. And guess what? The whole pattern tends to repeat itself. So if you want to make money from the markets, whether it's crypto or any market, you have to get used to this psychology. It's the crowd showing you how it's feeling. When it's euphoric, it's booming. And when it's depression, it's busting. So let's just simplify this. So I'm just going to show you this is actually crypto market cap. But again, I've just simplified it. What you want to know, and you've heard me say it before, markets tend to move in fives and threes. Fives and threes. The first boom tends to be a macro five. And what I mean by that is this. This is 2017 down here in the bottom left. This is like a first major boom. I mean, there was previous boom cycles in the crypto sphere because Bitcoin's been around since 2009. But this one was the, the one that kind of hit more mainstream media, the 2017 bull run. But guess what? The market gets overheated. People make a lot of profits. And guess what? Profit taking occurs. Then the selling occurs. And often the technology is better during the bus cycle. But the fear is in play. So people sell off. So then you get the bust. So it's the, the red cycle over here. Now, what you want to know is that we call this a wave one and a wave two. It's almost like the first major boom and bust. And wave twos tend to have extreme bad news, extreme bad news. Want to be aware of that. And then the next cycle that occurs is the wave three boom. Wave three booms tend to be the best, most aggressive, most money making booms where the market cap increases dramatically. And it's almost you can be not the smartest person in the room but the timing is key. So if you bought anything during the wave three boom cycle, you likely would have made money. Even if you chose a bad project, it's incredibly easy to make money. Everyone's making money. And it's a bit insane, but you just have this movement to the upside. That's called a wave three boom cycle. Then after a wave three, guess what comes next? Is the next bust, right? Profit taking. Wave four is a classic profit taking wave. Now in crypto, like this wave three that we're looking at over here, it was very aggressive and it got overheated and a lot of euphoria. And, you know, people just making an insane amount of monies. So you want to be ready for the next bust. In other words, get ready to take profits. So if I now just draw this down here, wave four, we have the next bust cycle. And we there's particular ratios that these, these cycles tend to apply with. But the thing I want you to be really aware of is three boom cycles before a major bust. This is what I mean, because this will allow you to see what's really happening. So this wave five is the third boom cycle. In other words, we've got the wave one, we've got the major wave three, and you've got the final wave five. Wave five boom cycles, if you can identify it in advance, is hopium. It's really hopium. And it's fair of missing out. It's where the big retail money really starts coming in. And then there tends to be a big sell-off. And it tends to happen in... Two bus cycles. In other words, it's called an A. You see it in the red. You see a recovery, but this is part of a correction. Even though it's in green and it moves to the upside, it's typically part of a three-wave correction. And then you typically get a next bus cycle, right? A next bus cycle. So what we're going to cover next is what typically occurs after this sequence. And by the way, if you want to learn a bit more of the advanced ways of looking at this, I've actually got my four secrets masterclass on how you can really ride the trend knowing the boom and the bust cycles. And that's one of the four secrets. If you can combine it with the other three, you just are able to see stuff that other people just can't see because they get too involved in the news, too involved in the fundamentals and trying to explain why it's happening. It's just fear and greed playing out. So this four secrets is free. It's a masterclass. Check it out. You'll absolutely love it. All right. So let me just bring up the price action again. So this is the market cap of the whole crypto market. So again, you can see if we just kind of go 2017, we had this amazing boom, bust. There was minor booms and busts as well. We had this boom here and then a bust. This was COVID. 
Then this, it's called a wave three. A wave three was just incredible. And then we had this bust down here and then a boom and then a bust, boom, bust, right? So what we want to look at now is I want to keep it really, really simple because most people overcomplicate things and you don't need to overcomplicate things. All you need to do is identify the trend, whereas the macro trend, the macro trend right now is down and are we near the end of that trend and what will signify a reversal and then we want to ride the next boom cycle. But right now, we're looking to ride the last part of the bust cycle on the downside. In other words, make money on the market going down, which is shorting the market. So there's ways of making money on the way down. So let's now just look at the next, what's typically going to occur, right? What I want you to think about now is, I'm going to just simplify this a bit more. So let's just get rid of all of these now. Is this whole five wave move to the upside is actually a boom cycle. Let me just change this color so it's really, really clear. So the difficulty that most people have is not knowing, like if you look at, there's like, the market can be bearish and bullish at the same time. So this whole movement is a boom cycle, right? With some corrections in between. So it's like a boom, bust, boom, bust, boom. <laughs> boom and bust, right? But the whole sequence, the five-wave sequence is regarded as a boom cycle. It's explosive, it's five-wave structure, and, and there you have it. And then with this movement to the downside, even though it's in three waves, and it hasn't ended yet, right? It hasn't, we haven't got the confirmation of this bus cycle ending yet, but it looks like we're towards the end of it over the next few months. But this over here is the bust cycle, right? A big correction, right? So now we've got a big five-wave move up and a big correction on the downside. So what we're going to do is look at when... It's more, of a, it's more of a when rather than an if. The next boom cycle occurs, what should we anticipate and why? And we can simplify the way you're looking at the market. So we just pull it in like so. And we do this. Now you'll see I've already drawn a wave one and a wave two. You go, what does that mean? So this, when, when we had the 2017 bull run, that typically broke down to five waves if we went into the intricate detail. And then that was a wave one. But now we've got this whole one, two, three, four, five. It's called a macro degree count. It's like, um, it's like the mass psychology rounded up. It's like rounding the psychology up. So this is a wave one of a whole boom cycle. Now we're in this deep correction bus cycle from November 2021. Typical of all markets. It's not just crypto. The news will have you feel it is crypto, but the dot-com boom was the same. There's been the gold market in certain market conditions was the same. The stock market, again, again, dot com. Um, there's many, you know, commodities and oil. Everything goes through these cycles. Currencies go through these cycles. It's normal. It's natural. It's crowd psychology playing out. So now we are at this. We haven't got it confirmed yet, so we're still down, right? So don't let's not get confused. Um, but once we get the confirmation that there's a big move to the upside, what will typically occur next? I'm actually just going to copy and paste this copy and paste, is the next boom cycle. And it will tend to mirror the previous boom cycle, but of a larger degree, of a larger degree. What do I mean by larger degree? It's like, it's like looking at this wave over here. Hopefully this is making sense. This wave over here, this was a boom cycle and then a bust cycle. And then the next boom was of a larger degree to this one. But this is like a completed boom cycle. It looks like we're completing the bust cycle. And typically what occurs next is the next boom cycle where the market cap is more than likely to go over $5 trillion. So what I want you to really understand is that it's a, it's a matter of time. Web3 is revolutionizing the world over the next few decades, the way contracts are going to be used, remittance, insurance, everything you own is going to be digitized with NFTs, uh, web one is read only in terms of the web interface where it was a few decades ago. Web two, where we are right now, is read and write. And web three is read, write, and own. So the technology supports that the evolution of this space, cryptocurrency, blockchain is evolving big time, but the world doesn't know it yet. So this boom cycle is coming. It's coming over the next few months. We don't know when exactly, but the the probability of it occurring is you know, as close to as guaranteed as you're going to get. So let's just summarize. We had our first boom cycle with some mini busts in between. We are on a major bust cycle right now. 
And then we should anticipate this next boom cycle over the next months, coming months and the years and be ready for it. But right now, the trend is down and we only want to be shorting the market majorly, like when we go into a detailed analysis. But if you want to learn how to make more money from the markets, I'm telling you, I simplified the heck out of this. I've been doing this for 15 years, four secrets masterclass. Check it out. You'll love it. It will just take your trading and knowledge to the next level. Let's just finish with a quote from my book. I love this quote. Quotes can be fantastic, especially when they're from people with experience that have succeeded in life. And this one's from Henry Ford. It has been my observation that most people get ahead during the time that others waste. So just know, right? Just practice. Even just look back in data on all price action. That's what Ralph Nelson Elliott figured out in the 1800s, 1900s. We were looking at Elliott wave theory. He just worked out there's boom and bust cycles and there's waves within the waves and this crowd psychology just plays out again and again and again. And you can use the four secrets to identify the early part of the trend, the mid part of the trend, and the end of the trend, and the reverse on the downside. So you know when to buy and when to sell to stack the odds in your favor so you can make the maximum amount of profit from the market, but in a calm, relaxed manner where you're not losing sleep. So there you go. So by the way, you can download my book as well, but I'll see you in my next video.